Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from Excel. Today we are going to do a small experiment. So what we are going to do is we are going to test how group 1 elements such as sodium and potassium reacts with water. So before we start reactions, I'll explain what actually happened when sodium and potassium react with water. So these are the two equations we can write the sodium reacts with water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The same kind of reaction happens with potassium as well. So this is common reactions and this is metal sodium. So sodium is stored under paraffin oil and um, this is potassium. Potassium also is stored under paraffin oil. So we know that when we compare the reactivity, potassium is more reactive than sodium because down the group the reactivity increases. Both sodium and potassium are very soft metal. We can easily cut them using a knife. So here I have used actually a scissor to cut them. So the reactivity increases down the group and we know that their uh, softness increases down the group as well. So we will see what happens when they react with water. So when we add sodium into water, these are the common observation we would see. We would see the metal floats on water, we would see metal turns to a silvery color ball, we would see effervescence of hydrogen, we would see or we would observe the fizzing and we see the metal floats on water and we see a white trail is formed. So those are all common for potassium as well but this is with sodium. So when we add potassium into water, the same observation we would see similar to sodium but with higher reactivity. But other than that we would see that potassium catches fire. So we see potassium burns with the lilac color flame when it contacts with water. What actually happened is the heat it generates is so high. So the hydrogen gas evolved make uh, start to burn. So it burns the potassium metal as well and gives the lilac color flame. So that's it, that's how sodium and potassium react with water. If this is helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And you can watch more videos on KEDEXL to learn how chemistry really works. And thanks for watching.